I'm just sitting in the change room having a chat to Nikki as well. We both have said exactly how frustrating it is because we both wanted to have a crack with our teams and um, I think we both the top type of teams and people as as coaches between him and me and our teams who who want to who want to f- play for results and 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 take the game to 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 its ultimate point which is getting a result and um, it's never great when you can't do that and um, so it's a little bit disappointing but nonetheless we at least got through two innings and um, we would have tried to make a good game of this and it would have been a good game if we didn't lose the day. Unfortunately we haven't quite had the weather we were hoping for and uh, yeah, the game was set up nicely um, but you know what can you do, light, light played its part or rather the lack of light during this match. We weren't happy with the way we batted on day one but luckily our, our, our tail wagged a little bit and we ended up uh, squeezing out uh, a score that was still not what we should have got. We should have got more, but I think we played according to our game plan with our bowling attack. You know, we, our seamers kept it nice and simple, and um, our spinners uh, really, really did what what was required. And, and credit to Robbie Peterson too for the way he bowled. So I think if we didn't lose that day, as I said before, it would have been a really, a really intriguing contest, and and one that people sh- should also come on a Sunday and come down to the ground and support. I won't say dominant, but uh, yeah, it looked like we were getting better and better as the game was progressing. And yeah, 100 run uh, lead on that. And you know, given we, we lost a good two days of cricket, you know, probably looking at getting a bit of a lead and then we'd have fancied uh, uh, defending that with the, with the way we were bowling. But um, yeah, look, that's the way it goes. Uh, unfortunately, it's the nature of cricket sort of this time of year in Durban. It, it generally, it, it can get tough with a lack of light and a bit of rain around but we're not complaining about the the rain the country needs it uh, desperately and um, we've got another game to look forward to this weekend and by all accounts it should be should be uh, should be fun. He's a guy was unlucky to be left out in the first place and um, with um, Kesh going to Australia and um, and Sen getting his chance uh, Sen's such a versatile cricketer he can he can he can bat in many different positions and I think he's shown people what he's all about. And he's the kind of guy, I, watch out, he, he could come and, 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 and do anything in this competition. Yeah, very nice. You know, he's been part of the structures for a while. He's a determined young man. He's angry t- to succeed at this level. And you can see that, uh, that grit and determination out there. And yeah, he's contributing big time for us in, in, with the bat and the ball at this stage. So very pleased for the way he's, uh, he's sort of just uh, been absorbed by, by the team and by the contributions he's making. We've got another game in Paul down against the Cobras uh, starting on Thursday, so we hit the road again. We enjoy the uh, whole travelling experience and uh, yeah, generally we, we enjoy playing in Paul as well. So um, sort of the last game of this half of the competition before we head over to White Bull Cricket, so we'd like to finish strongly.